everybody welcome to my channel my name is Jessie if you're new here I unbox subscription boxes and more today I have a new box to my channel called my cake crate or also a taste from home cake crates and it's by Cantastic Cakes I'm showing you the side of the box because this is basically the artwork that it has on it um, and basically it is a monthly box filled with yummy yummy desserts and if you want to see more and see what they taste like and see some yummy products, please stay tuned. Alright, so when I open up the box, I see a paper that it describes everything and then the items that are in the box and then just, um, it's packed nicely. Uh, so we can get into that for a little bit. But basically, I want to tell you a little bit about the Cake Crate. Alright, so my Cake Crate by Cantastic Cake Crates is a monthly box. It's $40 a month or you can get three, six, or one year plans for um, cheaper prices. Basically, um, it's all homemade desserts. Each box every month comes with a cake in a cup, four cake pops, and three to six cookies that are freshly homemade, and a mystery item. And the flavors change each month. Um, basically, so this is all home-baked, homemade products, so it's really exciting. Um, they gave me a code, which I will put down below in the description box, as well as pop it on the screen. Capital letters J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S Jesse 10, gets you 10% off plans of three months and more. And if you get a six or 12 month plan, you get an additional free t-shirt. And I'll list all that information in the description box below, along with our website, my website, mycakecrate.com. I'm very grateful to this company. They sent me uh, this box for, my re for review for me to share with you guys. And I only had to pay the shipping, which was $15. So I am really excited to get into this. Um, this shows basically just shows everything that I just told you guys about what's in the box. Um, I really think this box is a great idea for college students, especially it kind of reminds them like a monthly reminder of basically a taste from home, basically just like they say it. But I think it can be fun too if you're not particularly into baking I, um, or just want to get some special goodies each month. So let's dive in and see what we have. All right, so basically I'm gonna show you what's in all the products in here first and then I will taste everything. I'm not into mukbang, so don't worry, there's gonna be no chewing on this video. However, I would like to taste the products in front of you and tell, tell you about all of them. Uh, so let's start out. I am so crazy excited, you guys. French macaroons. Now, I honestly have never had a macaroon, so when I review these and taste these, I will have nothing to compare them to. I have seen tons of them being made on all the MasterChef shows, so I certainly know what they should look like. Um, the owner of the box was really nice, and they were also saying like they had never shipped them before, so they were hoping they turned out, and you know, I think they turned out pretty good. Uh, so, there's that. And I'll read you, there's a, a description card that talks about each item in the box. I just wanted to flash that and not give you a idea of what else is there is to come. But in the French macaroons, uh, the ingredients are almond flour, sugar, eggs, cream of tartar, butter, sprinkles, and food coloring. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty simple. I'm really, really looking forward to trying these. I've, like I said, I've never had a French macaroon. I am like stoked here. Um, now we have these two. I'm liking the looks of what they are. I can't really, they're chocolate something, right? I'm actually not sure. Let's see. Aha, this might be the surprise item of the month. It's a s'mores bar. Milk chocolate, sugar, gelatin, and graham crackers. So, so, wow, s'mores bar, I, again, that sounds fantastic. So let's keep on going. All right, so the next item is definitely the four pops uh, that come in each box. And these are classic chocolate cake pop with the ingredients of flour, sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, salt, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa powder, and vanilla extract. 
These look really good. Chocolate is definitely my favorite. Uh, so, wow. Very, very yummy. I cannot wait to try these. Wow, look at this final item. I don't, I'm a little afraid to tip it because it's in like a, it's like in a, one of those things that has a straw hole. But look, it is a black forest cake in a cup. I'm just going to let, just, just sit here for a minute and, and just marvel in the yumminess. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the cherries. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Let's read the description. Black forest cake in a cup. Ingredients, flour, sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, salt, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa powder, vanilla extract, cream, and cherry filling. And it did say at the bottom that all items created are, are created in a kitchen that uses nuts, wheat, and other allergens. So please read all ingredients. That's why I definitely wanted to make sure I did that so you guys got a feel for it. So clearly I'm not going to be able to try everything all at once. What I think I'm going to do is just kind of film this in stages so you guys think I'm not a total glutton here. And don't worry, I'm going to be sharing these with a family as well um, because this is just so yummy, wonderful. Although I don't know if I really want to share. I mean, this just makes me, I'm a little, hopefully, I'm wondering if this might taste better refrigerated. I'm definitely going to take a bite and then we might see how it goes if it needs to be refrigerated. I'm really impressed with that, how everything was shipped and packed. I mean, to, I was always wondering, like, to pack and ship baked goods, how it was going to turn out. But this is pretty good. I mean, I do see the macaroons. They were wrapped well in uh, saffron wrap. But I do see that when you pick it up kind of, like, on the side, it looks like there is some crumbly cookie. Um, so I'm going to try them first because you guys know I've been dying to try these. Um... So we'll see how messy they are, but let's definitely get into them. Okay, so these are really extremely crumbly. I was hoping to show you guys the one in the center. It's the least crumbled. Um, so we know what Gordon Ramsay would say. This side is perfect, but I know this is just shipping. I mean, can you imagine what these things went through to get shipping, to get shipped? Uh, but it's got the nice cream center, so here we go. I'm going to try it. Wow, so for not never having a macaroon before, I honestly didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect this. I mean, they're, they're, it's, it's very, very sweet. Um, I guess that's the cream of tartar on the inside. I think I'm going to look up what cream of tartar is um, after I'm done filming and maybe put something in the description box or on the screen. It is extremely, extremely sweet. Um, it might be too sweet for me. I mean, they are really, really good. Um, like I said, I've got nothing to compare them with as far as they are to other macaroons. Um, but it, it's almost, the cream of tartar, it kind of has like a marshmallowy texture, which is kind of yummy. Uh, the whole thing is just a little bit chewy. Um, the outer, the outer crust tastes like something familiar and I can't place it right now. Maybe I'll place it later. I'll let you know. So I vote that it's Black Forest cake time. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get through all the icing to get to the yummy chocolateness. Um, there was this nice plastic wrapper around the cup, the cup's lid, so that uh, I gave it some extra sealing and protection. So let's get in here, see how I can film this for you guys. All right, maybe I should have filmed this with my mom. It would have been so much easier to have like an extra two set of hands here. But I tried to get down to the yummy gooey cherry part and I got some cherry and chocolate in here basically when you first bite it I already took a couple bites it's basically like all icing like because all the icing is on top so I do think it's kind of difficult to eat it from the cup because I don't want to just have a bite full of icing because again the icing is extremely extremely sweet which if you like that kind of thing is good and it's also good in lesser amounts obviously mixed with the cake so if anybody has any tips, if anybody's gotten this box before, and if you've eaten one of these um, cakes in a cup, I would definitely love to know what your strategy is. Maybe you took it all out of the cup somehow, but I'm going to try it and see what I think. So technique wise, it kind of reminds me of eating like a Rita's like gelato because I'm trying to like go through all the gelato ice cream to get to the Italian ice. That's like what I'm doing here. I'm going through the icing to get to the cherries. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. Mmm. The cherry filling and the chocolate cake are fantastic. It's very moist, very cherry, cherry chocolate wonderfulness. Um, I will say I think the icing is kind of sweet, and I, I even like sweet, really sweet icing. Like I usually like buttercream icing. So I'm used to sweet icing, and it's still sweet for me. But I think in smaller amounts and mixed with the cake, it would be. Uh, much better. I, I mean, there's no, no way I would eat all this at once for sure. I actually would like to know, um, my cake crate, if you're listening to this video, I would love to know a serving size for these and some nutritional information as well. I mean, obviously, maybe we don't want to know the amount of calories in this thing, um, but I, this has got to be more than one serving size. I mean, I would just I would make myself completely sick trying to eat all this, but it is very, very good. I think it's definitely something you could put in your refrigerator. I might like it cold just for me because I would prefer it cold. Um, but I don't think you'd have to refri refrigerate it and cake my cake crate if you're watching. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I definitely think it's something you could put in and eat little bits of at a time. It might take me days to get through this, but it is so good. The cherry filling is just... You know, it's just it's Black Forest chocolate cake and it's very moist, so definitely thumbs up on this product. Hey everybody, so let's take a taste of the cake pop. It's funny, when you look at them, don't you think that they would be kind of really hard to bite into? But they're actually not. I took a bite in and it's basically just milk chocolate covered covering cake. It's super good, it's just like the same moist cake that's in the Black Forest um cake cup so i'm a big fan of these these are really good they're not as sweet as everything else too actually they're kind of nice and fluffy and airy so that is really exciting um i'm really happy with these i could probably easily eat one of these all at once they're very good the other thing i have to say about these that i think is amazing is even though it looks it's crumbly when you bite into it nothing is falling and it would be really funny and a great blooper reel if something fell right now. But nothing is falling off. It's not messy to eat at all. Like even when you get to the bottom of an ice cream on a stick, like some type of chocolate popsicle, you know, it always falls off at the end. This is not falling off. Like I'm even shaking it a little bit. So I'm very impressed. All right, so one cake popped down. Those were really, really good. I obviously ate that with no trouble. And now I'm into the s'mores bar. And it's the outer edge, I mean, it says that it's um, milk chocolate, but it almost, the outer edge tastes very much like fudge. Um, not complaining because I really do like fudge, but uh, I just, it, it's different from what I expected when I bit into it. Maybe it, it could just be because it's a really thick layer of chocolate around the s'mores, but the marshmallow filling is pretty good. It doesn't... It doesn't fully taste like marshmallow. I mean, I get a marshmallow taste, but it's not completely marshmallow. I think the graham cracker's there. You get the hint of the taste, but I definitely would like to taste a little more graham cracker. But overall, I really like these. They're really yummy. Um, so again, another winner. This, 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 the chocolate is a little bit sweet on here, um, as opposed to these, which weren't really that sweet. This was kind of more of a perfect blend of dessert type of thing. Whereas this was more sweet. And it could be that the marshmallow was making it sweet as well. Alright everybody. So here is the a Taste of Home cake crate. For this, uh, well, what month are we in? January 2020. Um, these are all the items. I really liked everything. I have to say my favorite item was surprisingly the cake pop. I actually wasn't expecting to uh, like them as much as I did. But they were so light and airy. And kind of just the, the least rich dessert to eat. Um, all the other ones are pretty... I would say very, very heavy and, and very good. But then just a lot more to eat and a lot sweeter. This uh, Black Forest cake, definitely my second favorite thing. The cherries in here are incredible. The chocolate cake is nice and moist. Very, very yummy and incredible. Um, I also like... I, I Then I guess uh, the s'mores would be my favorite. Third favorite. The macaroons are good too. I really wish I had had another type of macaroon in my life to compare these to. Um, but I think they're very cool. And I love the color. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the purple and pink swirled together on them were, was a very cool idea that you guys saw earlier in this video. 
So I guess guys for my random qu shout out question um, for this video it would be do you like extremely sweet icing or or not? Um, you can just say you know yes you like icing or no you don't. Um, that's my shout out question because a lot of these items are kind of geared towards a very very sweet tooth. Um, I'm definitely in going to be enjoying them just just very slowly and in moderation. That's how I do the best um, with anything with sugar. But I want to thank uh, A Taste of Home Cake Crate uh, by Fantastic Cakes. Thank you very much for sending me this box basically for free to review minus the shipping cost. And if you guys like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and you'll see more amazing unboxings just like this. I've got a bunch of content coming up, a whole variety. You've seen me do food, you've seen me do fandoms, aromatherapy, I mean, you name it, science. I, I like to change it up and do a variety. So thank you all for tuning in, and until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.